He was a helper. That's what he said anyway. He said he helped people. I said, I don't need any help. He said, then why are you following me? I didn't have an answer to that. We talked. I told him my problem, and he said, why don't you write your own play? Express your feelings. Maybe you'll create a new kind of theater. I liked the sound of that. To be a playwright. To tell the friggin' world what I had to say, which was basically to fuck off. I wanted that bad. And this guy could help me. He seemed very non-judgmental. But everything has a price, right? If Lawrence was going to help me write a play, what's in it for him? This is what he said. When you're happy, you're going to have to walk my dogs. I didn't like the sound of that. I mean, he looked kind of like a bum, and for all I knew, he was a total freak and into some very weird shit, and I sure as hell didn't see any dogs. But I wanted to write that play, and I didn't think I could do it by myself, so... Give a little, get a little. For the next few weeks, we worked and worked. The whole thing was so new to me. It's hard to make people understand your vision, especially if you hate them. But Lawrence kept me focused on my theme, which didn't need a lot of words to be expressed. Finally, my play was ready. When Shakespeare wanted to say something, it took him four hours. Not me. I broke into my savings and rented a theater. This would just take a few minutes. Welcome to my play. <laughs> the lights are up. You can start judging me now. How do you like my rose? Is it pretty enough? Is it red enough? How do you like my nose? Does it please you? Or do you reject it? I'd like to know. What about my hair? It's wild and curly. I like it. What about you? Mm, oh my, I've grown tired of your opinions. It's time to stop pleasing you. And start pleasing me.